Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name's Andy from the Opinionated Brit. And welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Shave Den and welcome back to another shave video. But it's not your normal shave video. Um, first things first, welcome to the weekend. Cheers. Haven't got an alcoholic beverage today. Um, getting to the end of the month and things are getting a little bit tight. Um, the old pennies, so I've got a good old cup of tea. But still, cheers to the weekend. Um, I hope you're having a good Friday. Um, it is Friday where I am. Um, by the time I get this out, it may be Saturday, but it is Friday at the moment. Um, as I said, it's a little bit different this time. Last uh, couple of weeks ago, we did a review of uh, Barrister and Man Terror. Um, the mentholated uh, shaving soap and today we're going to continue that theme with our frozen friday it's a little mini series i'm doing so this is obviously episode two of four um it's thought it'd be a little bit something something a little bit different um what we're going to be looking at today well we're looking at another sample so we're looking at chiseled face cryogen again this sample from um shave dash jim over at shave dash so thanks for sending that over um i bought a few of these probably a couple of weeks ago um we are going to be using the yaki 24 millimeter um barber pole tuxedo this is a synthetic brush i'm going to chuck that in the water let that soak for a minute I've done my normal pre-shave routine, so I've had a warm shower, um, used a bit of an exfoliating uh, cream. We're going to double up on that with a Pro Raso um, pre-shave. We are going to be using the Mercur 23C long handle. Um, razor blades, we are going to be using the Persona Platinums. Um, <clears throat> Gonna go ahead and load one of those up now. Just chuck that in the water, let it warm up a little minute. Um, what else we're we gonna be using? We are gonna be using, obviously we've got the Nick stick on uh, on call if needed. Um, it didn't really work out for me last uh, last time when we, uh, we did the shave of the R41. I needed something with a bit more clout. Is very good for smaller Nicks, um, but for that beast I had, didn't quite work out for me. So there you go. There's the Persona blade in there. I haven't used these before. I've heard they're quite um, quite good, quite a mild one. I have um, <clears throat> let this grow a little bit. Um, you probably can't tell. There's a few days growth here. Did have the issue on the, uh, the neck in the last video. So I'm gonna take it nice and steady around that neck area. Um, for post shave, we've got Bart's Balms, um, the peppermint one, mentholated. It's a bit of a frosty thing going on today. And obviously the Hulk Lathering Bowl. I obviously preloaded some of that um, shave soap in already. I don't, it's quite a soft soap, this. Um, I don't know if that's the case, obviously, out of the tub because I haven't got one. Um, we'll put a picture down here or here, wherever, of the... Um, tub just so you can see what that's like um <clears throat> and that's about it um looking forward to this shave i've been looking forward to it for a few days it's been a long week so it's a bit of a chance to let my hair down what little of it i've got left it is growing quite quick though actually believe it or not it's uh i quite like it i'm growing to like it um but yeah i've been looking forward to this one so we'll go ahead we'll uh take the old bins off and we'll uh, splash a little bit of water on the face. Get some of the uh, Pro Raso stuff. Pre-shave, if you haven't got this, I'd say this is a, probably a staple. This should be a staple uh, in most people's shave dens. So sort of brilliant pre-shave. Um, nice and mentholated quite a cold one it smells great oh nice rub it in get it in the old whiskers get in that neck area 
So, yeah, busy week for me this week. Um, trying to catch up with some projects that have been sent through recently. Um, starting to get on top of stuff, believe it or not, after the COVID stuff I've been doing. We will go ahead now and lather, start lathering this pride, you know. Now, they claim, or chiseled face claim, that this is one of the coldest shade soaps there are. It's pure menthol. There's no scent or anything to it. You can just smell that menthol. So you're probably gonna chuck a little bit of water in there. It's better to have less than more you can add to it. Can't take it away. Um, yeah, I have used this before. It was a while ago though, so can't quite remember how inflated it is. A bit more water. Feels like a bit of a thirsty one, this. We're gonna go for the normal two passes. Obviously we've got the t-shirt to talk about, I'm quite excited about this uh, this week's t-shirt. Another one from Monthly Tea Club. I really have, I've got to get a proper lather involved. This one works all right, it's not bad, but I just think if I can get one with those ridges in the bottom or something with a few ridges in the bottom, it's just that little bit easier to lather up. As I said in a few videos, this is an old well, not old, but it's a cereal bowl. I've got in a subscription box called Loot Crate. Some of you may know about it. But I think that will do me plenty on there. Plenty. Plenty in the tank, sir. So yeah, the t-shirt, obviously there'll be a picture down below. This one, some of you might know, is from the movies, or the 80s movies. The movies? I think there was, yeah, there was two, I think, Gremlins. And obviously we have got Mr. What was his name? He wasn't a Gremlin, he was a Mogwai, wasn't he? And it was, um, it was Gizmo. Obviously, this is a mashup of the Kremlin and Gremlins. So you've got Gizmo with his little Russian hat on. Um, I was talking to my daughters, or my eldest daughter and the middle one at bedtime before, telling her about, uh, she was asking about the t-shirt. I said it's from a cool 80s movie called uh, Gremlins. And I said, Gizmo is a Gremlin, but he's not, he's actually a Mogwai. Not sure if that is different to a gremlin. Is it a breed of gremlin? Or is it a different species altogether? Who knows? If you do know, let me know in the comments. I think for me, that will do. It's quite nice, so nice and thick. I can feel that coolness on my face now. I've got a tear in my eye. Not sure if that's uh, a tear, is it? Maybe it is making me so. I'm just gonna move this camera a bit because it isn't level and that would annoy me. So, no, that's even worse. It's a little bit better. Yeah, so I can feel that I'm getting to work now. Um, it's not particularly making my eyes water. Um, some of them do, some of them don't. And Gremlins, is that, I mean, would you say that's one of those movies, those 80s movies that you would want to see remade? I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence with remakes. I like the, I know it was an 80s movie, I think it was 90s, wasn't it? The Drudge, Judge Dredd one with uh, Sylvester Stallone. I like that one, I like the cheesiness, but 
the uh, the remake I wasn't a massive fan on. I think it was in the 2000s, wasn't it? In the what do you call the 2000s? The, the noughties, wasn't it? Ah, it's come to me. Carl Urban. That's who it was, wasn't it? In the remake. Wasn't a massive fan of it, but yeah, I tell you what, I'm liking these personas. Gone for a bit of a milder razor as well this week. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't share the uh, the aftermath of the live last last week shave with you, but it was a. Uh, It was a bit of a bloodbath, if I'm honest. Um, wasn't great, but I have got septic pencil on the way, and hopefully that will stem any bleeding that I have. <laughs> it's not the first time it's happened to the R20, uh, sorry, the uh, R41 on me, is it? Um, Let's be honest. I do like the R41, it is a good razor. It's nice, looks nice. Um, it has got that reputation of being quite aggressive, and it is. Um, but I maybe got a little bit overconfident with it last week. which is never good when it comes to uh, shaving with a double-edged razor. You need to treat it with respect. Hmm, nice. Decent, nice first pass that. <coughs> Give the old face another slather and get some more uh, soap on. So yeah, what have you been up to this week? Let me know in the uh, in the comments. I do like that feeling when you've uh, you've had that first pass of the mentholated soap, and then you go in with a second one, and it just you get that hit of coolness i do like that i have to admit second pass for the mentholated soap is always much more fun than the first what are your plans for the weekend anything or nothing obviously depending on where you are in the world you'll have a little bit more freedom than we've still got here in the uk i mean a lot, a lot of the shops have opened up um but do you really want to go shopping on a weekend? Probably not. Well, certain people will, I guess, but when you've got a uh, young family like me, it's not on the top of my list of things to do. <clears throat> Second pass will go across the grain. Nice. Huh? It's Father's Day this weekend here in the UK, so if you're watching from the UK, happy Father's Day. Power to the fathers out there. Obviously, if you're not in the UK, happy Father's Day anyway. Always uh, Makes me laugh a little bit where everybody has their uh, the Father's Day, the Mother's Day, all of them on different days. Who decided we were going to have 
Father's Day, Mother's Day. Do you not think it's a bit of a fad? I mean, I love my mum and dad, but I don't need one particular day to tell them I love them. It's one of those money-making days, I suppose. It's like Halloween, I know, over in the US and other places, Halloween's a massive thing. I hate it. I hate Halloween with a passion. Apologies if that offends anybody, but it's just not my cup of tea. Obviously, in this sensitive area, I'm just going to go... with the green. Um, it's an awkward area at the bottom here that grows in a totally different direction for some reason. I'm just going for a third pass, not full third pass though, just a little sweep up in this neck area. We're always chasing that baby butt smooth finish, aren't we? <clears throat> That little rinse off. Close the old. Pours off with a bit of cold water. Oh, nice. Ticket. Get the old bins back on, see what we can see. Hmm, very nice. Happy with that. Chuck a bit of the old uh, Bart's Balm on, the peppermint. Obviously, if you've not heard of them, they are uh, a Scottish um, brand, obviously from Scotland. Um, not sure if they ship worldwide, but oh, nice. Well worth getting your hands on if you can. Ooh, nice. Happy with that. So, yeah, there you go. That's um, the second of my... Uh, Frozen Friday, episode two. Um, probably going to put it out there and say that is a little bit colder than the uh, the Terror from Barrister and Man. Um, don't think I used used enough water in the uh, the Terror shave. Um, they did get in touch and say, well, they commented on Instagram saying that you need to use quite a bit of water, water which I didn't. So maybe I didn't use enough water to uh, activate it. I do believe Terra has been re-released in July, so if you want to get your hands on that, you can. Obviously, you can get Cryogen. Um, most places, you can get it direct. Obviously, in the UK, you can get samples from uh, Shave Dash. Have another slurp. Um, yeah, I'm, I like that one, actually. Um, quick plug of the Opinionated Brit uh, podcast. Obviously, tomorrow... I am recording with Mr. Ken Kirkup from uh, Ken Surf's YouTube channel. You'll all know him. Pretty excited about that. 
If you've got any questions, obviously stick a comment down uh, below with your question and I'll endeavour to ask it in. Um, have got um, Kerry from uh, Phoenix and Bow, the artisan, coming on. I have got Sinatra Lennon lined up, so thank you to you guys for agreeing to do that. Um, if anybody watching this wants to come on the pod as a guest, um, obviously if you've got a passion for wet shaving, let me know. Obviously I'd be happy to have you on as a guest. Um, if there's any other guys watching this from any other channels, again, drop a comment uh, down there. Let me know you want to be a guest and I'll get in touch. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Obviously, if you've enjoyed this video, um, click the like button, leave a comment. Um, I love the interaction with you guys. Obviously, subscribe to the channel if you don't already. Obviously, no pressure to. Um, and yeah, another quick one. Congratulations to Clint, who's the winner of my 100th subscriber um, giveaway. I'll get that parcel out to you um, ASAP. So congratulations. And uh, yeah, as always, really appreciate you joining me. Um, have a good weekend. Um, whatever you're doing, stay safe and stay frosty. Peace.